you used Bronson, Missouri in a rap line last year? Yo, MC Fukal. With a sick, deep cut. This is like a premier qual uh, level event, so I'm pretty sure they have like a 15 minute disconnect timer, which is fine. I'm not concerned about it. Ah, it's the calm before the storm that gets me. Oh, there they are. Alright, very good hands. Well, by very good, I mean. People. Oh no! Probably a Thoughtseize deck. Boo. But it also could be a deck that very easily will tap out on turn three or four without thinking they're gonna die, and then they die. So. Mardu Mediums? Crocsha. Titan of Death's Hunger. Alright. Yeah, Bronson was the joke. The the joke version of Bronson, Branson, Missouri. Huh. That's, uh, that is a draw. Sedgemoor Witch. Oh, I. That's quite the card. Huh. I probably should have grabbed Rauger and Triome off of that. Uh, I can get Steam Vents here. Yeah. Alright, we'll see. I was really hoping to hit a land there. Did not. Land? Oh, that's good enough. That is very much good enough. Uh, this creature does have menace, if anyone's curious. Very important quality of the Sedge Moor Witch. That's easy. Uh, do I want to remand it? I think that I do. Yeah, they'll get another pest, but I really don't mind. Do your worst opponent. Botsies! No! Show enough, it's Yo Luck. Let's hold up a coda. My shine bright like Supernova, King Koopa, Lean Troopa, with a mean scoop of Jova, Bronze, and Missouri. This ain't over with. Go ahead, sis. You got a death wish. Miss around here and get your head split. Neat. That is that is a lot of that. You 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 are spinning, sir. You got bars. Mad rhymes. I I. That's it. That's all I got. That's that's a whole lightning bolt just for red and six. All right. Fair enough. Hmm, this is gonna hurt. Should have grabbed the rabbit and try them earlier. They can get their crocs back too, so we are dire straits life wise already. Sedgemore Witch is a house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the uh, Saffron Olive played that the other day and it looked surprisingly good. These are all going into Fairy, right? Yeah, that's fine. Oh. 
Yeah, it's Marty. Marty Mediums, just like I said. Creativity off the top, please. Ding. Okay. Well, that's a blocker. Thank you. Thank you very much. Play ran in six. There are three ways to do things. The right way. Straight black, red, witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that that's definitely a... Well, that's not good. Uh, that's definitely a choice. Mm. So if they have another removal spell, I'm... I'm dead on the spot no matter what I do, so let's just uh, take the hit here, go to block. If they had bolt or push, we would have died already, so. May have one more turn on this earth. Dread Horde, sure. Sure. Alright, let's top deck uh, Indomitable. I've got just enough life to do it. First, get the mine. Ha! They called it a mine. A mine! Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bang? Nope, no bang. Very bad. Couldn't find another creativity. The one discard spell they had was enough to just completely put me on my ass. Unfortunate. It's okay. We got game two. So, Veil is good. And then... Timely good here? They do seem more aggressive than a lot of these other decks. Yeah, Timely's probably okay. This fairy's not that good. Ah! No, there's Croxes and the, the Witches. And, obviously... Going after the witch is quite painful sometimes, but that's okay. I'm also, I think this might be an Emrakul matchup. Yeah, I think so. Just because of the amount of um, removal they play. Um, sorry, not the amount of removal. It's quite easy for them to have Path out of the sideboard or Edicts. Edicts are not super likely. go on the play. Let's keep uh, another remand over a lightning bolt. Alright. So. Imagine finding creativity and whipping on Bellamagus. Oof. <laughs> Certainly not how you want to play the game, but uh, it happens. Yeah, I'm, uh... That's definitely a thing I could do. Ibura Kema. Ibura Kema. But, uh, I don't think that I want to do that. I, I, yeah, I agree that Teferi is nice to shut off Bolt Path for the, for the gnome. Yeah. It's just that, um, these attrition kind of matchups, Teferi's often, like, not that good, but I think on the play, I definitely want this kind of setup. I, I just usually consider this, that, or the other. Yes, we are, Freedy. We are playing in the challenge right now. Did something recently happen with competitive play where people feel that they are more demanded upon to have delays and say, like, oh, no, no commenting on the play while I'm playing, chat? Because I see it, like, on almost every stream all of a sudden, but I don't remember anyone getting slammed for it. What's with the result up there? Does it say... It should say 1-0, right? Yeah, 1-0 down a game? Yeah. In the top, top right corner of the screen. 
Oh, I'm playing in the in the PTQ, not the not the not the challenge that started at 6 a.m. This hand is not good. Uh, we're against a discard based deck, but this hand is bad enough that I had to throw it back. This hand's actually not good, uh, particularly, but I'll keep it. We've got enough things that they'll want to discard that I probably get to keep something good, but and generally sucks without a fetch land. Maybe we just top deck a fetch land. MPL is this weekend and outside assistance is not allowed or whatever. I think that's what it is. Okay. Title says challenge was super qualified. I, they're all challenges to me. I mean, I'm sh yeah, it's it is the super qualifier. It's the the PTQ for lack of a better term. It's that tournament what lets me queue for that other tournament. So, I feel like there's a very good chance they're playing removal that just kills it to fairy. Why are these two going at the same time? Uh, the, the same thing happened the other day. Um, I, I don't honestly have an answer for you. I think I'm just going to draw the card. Because we have Prismari command. I just wanted to set up for that better. Against decks that play black, I pretty much always just down tick the Teferi, which is like probably not correct, but I do it. Like Here comes the discard. Like nope. Like Are they waffling? Like do they not know what they want to do with their mana? Yep, those those are good draws. Just just all over the place with the good draws right there. Holy shit. Damn son. I like I like all them cards that I just done did draw. Bang! We play the random sex and take the mire past the churn. No, uh, the Steam Flogger, I've seen even um, people who are not, like, MPL members or anything um, with with tags like that. Alright, I think I just have to let this go. Like, I can fight over it and make them spend more mana, but I have a Prismari command to start selecting towards what I need, and um, we've got the Ren 6 on board. Uh, this is a playlist that I use a lot when I'm doing challenges now, uh, Ibrutema, because I know um, the creator... Yeah, we can, um, but in between rounds, just in case, like, if I do well in the challenge, I want to post it on YouTube, and, uh, if I, if I do open music requests, then we usually get a lot of muting, and, and that's no fun. That's not fun either. I do have an out for it, but it will kill a dwarf, which I don't want that to happen. Ooh, look, Bad Explorer. It's been a minute since we played a Bad Explorer, but we're about to. Sorry, I need to put this in my graveyard first. We can definitely get some hashtag selfie action. You guys want to savor the flavor? The flavor of love. Flavor flavor. Oh, yeah, that's a very good draw. I like that one a lot. Why do I keep doing that? Nice. Right. This is why we have the third Steam Vents, people. And yes, I'm aware my life total is getting a little precarious. It's calling me on a Sunday. Calgary. Okay. I ain't know anyone in Calgary. Well, technically I do, or my dad does.
Play your plague engineer opponent. I have no fear. I actually feel like I should have played out the Deferi here. Okay. No cheap interactive spell, huh? Okay, so let's go draw two and make a trigger. like we win, but let's see. Alright, opponent. What do you have to say? Actually, hold on, how much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh different slightly different plan, but same goal. Or however you want to phrase that. Whatever. Take your knife, sword, whatever. Teferi, Time Rattler. Let's slow things down. There it is. Okay, we win. Hey, Fallen, what if I took all the turns? Do you have a problem with this, or is there something I can do for you? Would I like to pay three life to prevent this? And there's another land. Bonk. Well, if he's been good, he'll go to heaven. In heaven, you get to do whatever you like best all the time. Cloud goes up. Cloud goes down. Cloud goes up. Cloud goes down. Cloud goes down. Okay, so I don't actually have the next turn spell yet. So let's go draw two. Sorry. Here to play draws two and discards two. Three to trigger. <laughs> Grix told me a tale of woe where he screwed up. Yeah. Is Ren Emblem good? Please explain. If you don't know, now you know. Explain how. In 3,000 words or less. Strictly medium. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I definitely should have creativity there. Um, I can do it now. I can do it next turn. Oh my god. I completely forgot that I had... Yeah, 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 I forgot that I had a creativity in my graveyard. There we go. Okay, okay, we got it anyway. Um, and I... Hold on. Yeah, we can just creativity warp here, so even if I miss, I, I win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. That's okay. We can still time warp. Hello, Mr. All right. <laughs> I forgot I brought that in. Hello, Mr. We'll still get the job done. All right, Mama. Take me home. Hold on. Oh, did they concede? Don't be Emra cool, folks. Be Emra cooler.
I am Carl Valmo. You have chosen a three wood. May I suggest a fucker? Three wood. Okay. Now enter the force of your swing. You have entered our tribe. You have entered our tribe. You have entered our tribe. Now enter the force of your swing. You have entered our tribe. Hmm. I mean, one fetch land makes this hand insane. Yeah, all right. It's very easy for this to just go off the rails and die, but we're against a black discard based deck, and I have interaction for their sort of scarier early game creatures, so. It's very difficult to. I'm sorry, what now? They're playing what now? Interesting. So normally I like to pretty aggressively mulligan to hands that have Ren and Six, but against the discard base deck, it's just not. Yeah, that's perfect. Thanks, opponent. Um, it's just not something you can realistically do. Okay, that's a really less than ideal draw. That's okay. Get out of here, you little dread horde. Nobody wants you. Not legacy. Not modern. White! Oh, I said more white. Okay. The audacity. My opponent played some white mana. That's not my favorite. So we go shock. Uh, create a treasure and shock. I think. Yeah. Take your test drive. Yeah. Ow. And you look great. All right, listen, folks. You see this thing my opponent's doing? Now they're one zero in this tournament, and they may beat me. See these cards they're playing? These are not good cards. Just because they make your Dreadhorde Arcanist better, it does not mean you should be playing these cards. Lingering Souls is actually kind of a pain in the butt here. Oh my god. Oh, this sucks so bad. I think savoring here is correct. It, it's it's really sucky. I mean, they don't have lethal on deck, so yeah, that explore is something. Jeez, come on, deck. Right, you can do better than this. If we lose, if we lose like this, it's gonna be like, oh, come on, man, really? <laughs> F, exactly. You look great. I mean, I think I have to go to Fairy Bounce a Token, which is just god awful. But like, one ones, unbeatable. I never prepared for this. They have a Lightning Bolt. I hope not. I can survive, but still, I will, I will go to one. Kaya's guy? Like what? Oh shit! What is this? Something with Dredge? Or, um... Oh, Clink! Of course. Sure. I'm sure that was in their graveyard, I just didn't notice it. Alright, alright, alright. Game on. Yeah. Choose your choose your choice carefully, opponent. Your your attack is going to decide the future of this game. 
They're only putting one creature onto Barry. Big mistake, friend. Big mistake. Unlimited. Now, if they have a bolt in their hand, though, they could bolt me, put me to one, and I can't get a treasure. Build rights, that's terrifying. They could easily draw lethal, they could easily draw Thoughtseize. <laughs> the Thoughtseize is not enough right now. They do have the Lingering Souls in their- yep, that's fine. Lingering Souls in their graveyard. That attack means they don't have a bolt in hand. Sure, sure. I mean, I think you could infer that. I don't think that that's necessarily true, but I think it may be true. Yeah, it's like, if we win here, it's not necessarily because of some great depth of play skill I have over my opponent. It's going to be because I had double Indomitable Creativity in this hand at this moment. Also, partially because their deck is full of junky cards like um, Stitcher Supplier. I'm not, I'm not saying that high synergy decks are not interesting and fun. It's just for like the PTQ, I don't know if I would want to play something with Stitcher Supplier. Pure, pure skill. Better looking than good, I tell you. Better looking than good. Is this Croxa? This is going to be the Lingering Souls, right? Oh, Kling? Are they honestly flashing back Kling right now? Because if they are... I'm... Nope. They had a Croxa in their graveyard. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean... It's not a problem in and of itself. We just put Dragon in here and we just have to hit a single time warp to win the game. I don't need two of these. But if I hit a time warp, I will want the, um... Decision Supplier is a must counter in Legacy. Oh, yeah, 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 but that's just not the format we're playing, right? You're, you're not wrong, Chase. And there have been times in Modern where it could have been. Uh, except there's no Force. As long as we don't hit Mom. Yeah, I hope not. Maybe I'll draw... Okay. So now I could go Creativity X2. Which, in addition to getting more cards out of my deck, um, might give me Velomachus plus uh, Emrakul. At worst, it'll give me two Velomachi, but that's fine. So, it, it's just all on whether or not we hit uh, Time Walk. If we hit, we win. If we miss, we lose. Alright. We hit. That was, what, 60% to hit? Ish? No, it was way higher. We're at, no, wait, there was seven out of 40. No, uh, 41 at the moment. Seven out of 41 on that. GG's. Opponent says that was lucky. It sure was, smiley face. Now we don't swing Mom. I don't think they're playing Creeping Chill. But if they are, and I just lost because of it, then uh, that's on me. Yeah. I mean, they said GG already, so I don't think they're playing Creeping Chill. Um, I also don't think this Mardu Medium kind of deck would be playing Creeping Chill, because they just don't mill themselves enough. Um, oops, high event. Thank you, Aspiring Spike, for that. No, 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 no. They were, they were very nice. They said GG, and they said that was 